I'm Ebony North for Investment Pitch Media. Thanks for joining us today. Victory Battery Metals has completed its initial MAG survey of its recently expanded Tallow Lake property in British Columbia's prolific Babine Copper Gold Forfrey district. The Tallow Lake property, recently expanded to 1,688 hectares, is located 8 kilometers northwest of American Eagle Gold's NAK property and lies 16 kilometers northwest of the Morrison deposit. The property overlies a significant north-northwest trending magnetometer high within the Hazleton Group rocks and is adjacent to the same north-northwest trending fault as the Morrison deposit and the historic Bell and Grand Isle mines. The MAG survey, conducted by helicopter-borne high-resolution aeromagnetic data, utilized state-of-the-art geophysical instrumentation attached directly to the helicopter. The company chose to fly in a systematic low-level grid pattern, with magnetic sensors mounted in a non-magnetic and non-conductive nose stinger configuration. Compared to conventional slung bird-type survey systems, this innovative design allowed the survey to be safely flown at reduced terrain clearance to minimize noise, improve resolution, and reduce the need for complex corrections to the data. Geophysical data and preparation of maps deployed industry standard Geosoft algorithms and mapping software to show the geomagnetic properties of the survey area. A regional geochemical survey silt sample in the center of the property returned over the 96th percentile for copper and over the 98th percentile for zinc. The surrounding RGS samples form a cluster of elevated copper and zinc values. Noranda reported a linear soil anomaly, approximately 50 meters by 500 meters, trending north-northwest, with copper values ranging from 60 to 720 parts per million copper to the southwest of the area, drained by the highly anomalous silt sample site. Noranda never followed up on the anomaly, and no work has been reported since. A regional till sample taken about half a kilometer east of the soil anomaly returned elevated copper and highly anomalous zinc over the 98th percentile. A till sample about two kilometers down ice from this site returned over the 95th percentile for gold. Another till sample on the newly staked property returned 49 parts per billion gold, which is over the 98th percentile for the region. Mark Ireton, president, stated, our exploration team has initiated this initial MAG survey to gain a better understanding of the geology and structure of the property. The team has found it very interesting that the historic copper and soil anomaly overlies one of the linear MAG highs and has confirmed that the northwest striking Morrison Fault is clearly shown by the MAG survey and runs immediately west of the aforementioned copper anomaly. Helgi Sigur Gearson, Victory's geologist, added, Building on the information gained through the MAG survey, the exploration team will be focusing on the area of coincident copper in soil and MAG high to assess whether these features are related to mineralization related to biotite field spar porphyry of the Babine Igneous Suite, which is the lithology that hosts the significant Babine porphyry deposits such as the Knack, Morrison, Bell, and Granile. The shares are trading at 6.5 cents. For more information on the company and its other properties, please visit the company's website, VictoryBatteryMetals.com. Contact Mark Ireton, President, at 236-317-2822 or by email at info at VictoryBatteryMetals.com. I'm Ebony North for Investment Pitch Media.